Hey guys, welcome back to the podcast. Today we are getting back into the swing of things. I am reacting to the second episode of Monarch today. It's been a while since I watched the first episode, but I was really intrigued by the show. So I'm like, hey, let's get back into it. I actually want to see what's going to happen. Um, So I want to kind of jump right into it. But before I start this reaction, make sure you guys are subscribed. So that way you don't miss out when I upload and when I put out new interviews, new reactions, all those good things. And then be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like me doing these types of reactions or if you're a fan of the show. And of course, leave a comment down below uh, what you think about this episode. Like, make sure you guys watch my reaction to the first episode before watching this one. So that way you're all caught up with this. Um, I'll put it somewhere. It'll either be somewhere where you can click or I'll put it down in the um, description. So yeah, let's get into it. That is. Oh, Lou, that's going to stick around a while. Sometimes the fight picks you, sir. Well, some orders have come through. Security escort for a Japanese scientist. I'm sorry, sorry, sir, a Japanese scientist? This isn't a milk run, Lieutenant. We already lost a man on one of these escort missions a couple of months back. Dismissed. Wish I could say I was, but I'm here on army business. Maybe we can get a drink on my way out, huh? I'm sorry, I think there's a little miscommunication happening here. Um, let's start over. Yes, why don't we? Okay. <laughs> you are. I am Lieutenant Leland Lafayette Shaw III, but you can call me Lee. I'm Keiko Miura, and you may call me Dr. Miura. Oh, no, that's right. Yeah. Seems like they're giving us more context. I wonder, is it really like that in Japan? Or are they just making it look like that for the show? Where it looks like everybody's kind of just like walking to work or to school? Someone in the comments let me know if it's really like that in Japan. Kind of reminds me of like New York a little bit. Okay, who's gonna clean up all that mess? Because it wouldn't be me. A sign again. So I wonder when that other guy comes in. Oh, there he is. Bob, so who are you and what are you doing here? Lieutenant. My name's William Randa. Okay. Lieutenant Shaw. Mm -hmm. Look, I promise I won't shoot you if you don't shoot me. I'm a cryptozoologist. You're a cryptozoo, uh, what? Studies animals that don't exist. Yeah. We'll talk when I get home, okay? Don't do this. Love you. Bye. Do not... Excuse me? I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to eavesdrop. I just I, I overheard your accent. Sometimes this place can make you feel like you're stranded on another planet. Glad I could help. <laughs> Can't imagine that that helped. That was a weird thing to say. Wait, wait, wait. Look, look. I work for Monarch. You're not in trouble. Not yet. Those files belong to us. And they are more important than you could possibly imagine. I need to make a call. Okay. Let's make a call. Uh-uh. I'd be like, don't touch me. Leia. Kate? Hello? Kate. Ooh. <laughs> 
I didn't expect her to do that. I said you weren't in trouble yet. Okay, yes. but you was no. He was dragging her outside talking about make a call and put it on speaker, but then you're gonna go, Oh, but you're not in trouble. Like clearly she is. She's not stupid. I swear. Relax. You're gonna be fine. Just breathe, okay? Get her under control now! <laughs> Get out that car for it, blow up. What? When's the last time I answered one of your text messages? You thought. You thought that because of your crazy family drama that what happened between us is ancient history? I do audio not home movies. I told you I was sorry. It's like, okay, and? Mm, she don't have her stuff. Oh, that was she probably paranoid now. I don't know if I would have done that because there might be some evidence in those photos. So you guys are following the radiation, aren't you? Well, what do you know about that? Well, I know you're not going to find what's out there following a Geiger counter. Well, should we be following Mr. Rando? Just Billy. No, look, I am here at the behest of the U.S. Army. My orders Your are... Your orders are to provide me with whatever My orders I are require. to provide you with operational security, and I cannot do that with our new friend Billy, the jungle hermit hanging around. <laughs> you are relieved of any responsibility for me. Dismissed. He gonna come Should back. We, go? we already know that. See this? That's literally the same thing. Incredible. She should just go back to her brothers. I mean, I know she don't know him that well, but like... I mean... At least she wouldn't be roaming the streets by herself because like, they're obviously gonna be looking for her. They, meaning the monarch people. Yeah. ベトナムでおじいちゃんが亡くなった時、お父さんは18歳。利用時さんが Ah, that's she that's should have right, warned actually, him ahead of time. Makes it much easier. Oh, you have a lovely. Thanks, Sean. No ID, no, no badge, no, no nothing. So what do you want? I want Bill Randa's files. No, you need to leave. No, you need to hand over those files. Otherwise, you, your friends, and your mother are gonna be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Oh, shit. You know this ship? USS Lawton. Mr. Randa. Billy. Him not saying anything would be so annoying. Like, I know you hear me talking to you. You are on this ship. Yeah. Only me. What? How is he the only one that survived? Wouldn't he have been like a... Wouldn't he have been a kid at the time? Or, I mean, he would have been much younger, right? And I'm wondering if he's still alive because he found those papers of it says something about 
like um, a senior living home or something like that. Oh, cool. Hey. Hey, are you okay? What is she doing here? Hey, whoa, she's in this too. Okay. Somebody's after those files. Not Why time for the attitude. Hey, when a people of power ever Hold on. cared about. I don't know where to go. Trust me. I think something might be in there. <gasps> oh. See. Colonel Shaw? Oh, that's Kurt Russell. Okay. I, uh, I didn't know Hiroshi even had a daughter. Well, I didn't know he had a son. Mm. Turns out he was good at keeping secrets. What's this all about? Why are you here? You gotta make it kind of quick. We want to find out what happened to my father. Right after G-Day, he said he had some place he needed to go. Wouldn't tell us where, but a week later we were told the plane he was on disappeared somewhere in Alaska. Turns out he had a whole secret life in Japan. Sure. Okay, well, we're leaving. Yeah, you can try, but they're just gonna keep following you and following you and following you until they finally get what they want. Now you got just about 60 seconds to make up your minds. If it was that easy, wouldn't he have tried wouldn't he have left a long time be? ago? Whoa. Are you alright? Oh, Jesus Christ! Go back! Go! Well, that was episode two of Monarch. How do we feel? Thoughts? Reviews? <laughs> I think I might have even enjoyed that a little bit better than the first one. I don't know. But clearly this is one of the shows that like each episode, it progresses the story and we're getting a lot of flashbacks because it connects to whatever is happening in the present and with Monarch and everything like that. So we got to see Kurt Russell in this episode. I saw that he was like one of the actors in the show. And I was like, what? Because they didn't show him in the first one. But clearly um, now I know why. Because he's the older version of the Colonel. But yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. I definitely will continue it if you guys would like me to. Um, just let me know in the comments. kind of wish Kate would have stayed on the phone with her mom a little bit longer. Because she was like... She was, like, trying to rush to get off the phone with her, and I feel like her mom, I mean, obviously her mom probably has, like, no idea what's going on with her. She thinks that she's, like, boarding the plane to head back home, and clearly she's not. So it's just, like, I, I kind of wish she would have stayed on the phone with her, so then at least her mom could have heard, like, this guy approaching her, the guy from the Monarch, and trying to, trying to pretty much, like, kidnap her, you know, but, and I'm not really sure why. I'm not really sure why she's not really telling her mom about what's going on. Like, I kind of feel like the mom has to know somewhat. I could be wrong, but I'm thinking that the mom probably knows that he had another family or something or that he was hiding something. And maybe she just just probably just never talked about it with Kate. But the fact that Kate is like not saying anything about it to her mom, she's just like, uh, no, nothing. There's nothing here for us where I'm just going to go home. It's like, girl, like, why are you not telling your mom what's going on? I'm also a little annoyed that Kentaro keeps having an attitude with Kate. It's like, okay, I know that, like, finding out that you have this secret half-sibling is pretty shocking, and now you're questioning things, everything. Like, but it's the same for her, too. And she, and every time, it's like, she comes around, he's like, what is she doing here? Why is she involved? Like, come on. Like, bro, this is your sister. Like, stop it. And clearly, she is involved now. So I'm not sure why he keeps trying to, like keep her out of things or keep I don't know I, I just feel like he's being a little unreasonable but again I understand that like trying to accept all of this in a short amount of time is probably a lot and probably overwhelming but um I just feel like you know she's going through the same thing too so it's just like come on man anyway like I said I enjoyed the episode thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you guys next time bye